So it's now 5.30 a.m. in the morning. I woke up early today to interview my cousin Chishen. So this is a day in the life of an average office worker in Singapore. This is my cousin Chishen. <laughs> He's 25 years old this year. Chishen currently works for a renovation and furniture company in Singapore. Chief Shen wakes up early in the morning to prepare for work. This is his morning routine. He brushes his teeth, washes his face and takes a bath in the morning. While Chi Shen bathes, his helper usually prepares a hearty breakfast for him to bring to work. Like many Singaporeans, he usually drink a cup of Milo and have a sandwich for breakfast. As he has to rush to work, he brings his breakfast to his office to eat. <laughs> so what do you work as? I work as a design assistant. <laughs> Basically help to design showrooms, fairs, <laughs> exhibition, etc. So how long have you been working? Uh, Close to two years. So do you like working as a design assistant? Mm, I think it's not a bad place to start as a designer. Mm. <laughs> is this is this mask? From like... yesterday, yes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's because I use it for only five minutes. That's why. I'm quite gross. <laughs> <laughs> Chishan changes into his usual office attire and enjoys a chat with his grandmother before he leaves the house. Chishan commutes to work by train and the closest train station to his house is about a 10 minutes walk away which is pretty common in Singapore The car is crazy eh? I'm, I'm crazy though <laughs> I'm leaving Chishan takes a 20 minutes train ride to UT At UT, he waits for his company bus as his company is located too far away from the nearest bus stop so, so do you see your colleagues here? Yeah, I do. <laughs> so you don't talk to your colleagues when you're waiting for the bus? Usually don't lah. But I mean, unless like the bus is late, then we just like, eh, hey, bus late, yeah. Oh, so awkward! That's awkward! <laughs> oh, <it's> so awkward! Eh. <laughs> so, so do you, do you actually go out with your colleagues like outside of work? No. No? Mm. Unless it's a get together. Mm. Or retreat or... For the sake of the company. Mm. I'm not sure if it's the same elsewhere, but some Singaporeans do like to keep their private lives and their work life separate from each other. I guess it makes it easier to be professional to each other. Chishi and his other colleagues enjoy a quiet morning ride in the bus. How are you guys doing? They're all queuing up to check their company card. Is it track? Is your attendance track? Yeah. Oh, it's right. So, so like when we go lunch, we also need to tap. Then like they will check whether we got go eat lunch for how long. Oh. So let's say if you like go for a slightly longer lunch or if you are late, will you get penalized? Yeah. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> So I'm now gonna hang out around Chichen's office while he works and yeah, I guess you'll meet him during lunch time. So it's just 30 now, I'm waiting for Chichen to end work to go for lunch. Chichen has 45 minutes allocated for lunch and usually he goes to a nearby coffee shop to buy lunch. Coffee shops in Singapore are normally the default option for office workers to have good meals for an affordable price. Today, he bought chicken rice. Okay, you okay, it. It. <laughs> okay, it's me. He also bought Tae O Kosong, which is coffee without sugar. How much is this drink? For oh, one ten. Uh, in total, he spent... 470? 
啊 ，four seventy four， 双鱼饭，咔青咔青。So when you go back to office, do you eat in the pantry? No, I eat at my table, office table. But you eat alone? Oh, with your colleagues? Eat alone, no. Oh, I mean, you see the culture, lah. So, if your company doesn't like. Usually eat together. Mm. Not all. But I'm a loner. So. <laughs> Bye. Bye. So it's now nearly 7 pm. Chishan has just texted me that he just reached home. So now I'm going to Chishan's house to film the rest of his night. Hi. <laughs> what are you doing? Watching Olympics. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel <laughs> ending work? <laughs> Quite scary. I feel like I think I don't feel this. Mm. But then, like every day you go to work, then you kind of dread, start to dread. And then, but like, you're happy about going work home. Mm. Your... That means now you don't feel fulfilled at work. No lah. <laughs> <laughs> do many of you feel the same way as well? Like unsatisfied with your work right now, and what do you do to overcome this feeling? <laughs> then what? Then what are your dreams or like ambitions? Singer songwriter. Singing songwriting. Ah. Oh, singing and songwriting. Yeah. Why, why do you want to be a singer songwriter? I like to create different kind of tunes. Mm -hmm. Kind of natural process. Eh. I don't really have like a like a moment of inspiration. Eh. After dinner, Chishan spends the rest of his night watching the Olympic Games and writing songs to prepare for a songwriting competition that he's taking part in. Oh, what are you doing? Oh! Oh! So is this your lyrics? Yep. Mm. So how long do you take to write this? Mm. Come to a satisfactory ending. About a week. Actually, that's pretty fast, right? Mm -hmm. For a week for a song. I don't know lah. I mean, I'm not a, <laughs> not a real singer song actor. At least not yet. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> da, da, da. It's 10 p.m. now and Chishen gets ready to go to bed. He brushes his teeth, takes a shower, and heads to bed. Before you sleep, do you have anything, like any advice that you can give to our viewers? Uh, be more brave to explore. Regardless, like, if people think it's stupid or you feel it's stupid, but then you still feel like insect, um, you might like it. Just try it out. Then if along the way you don't like, Give up lah. But if it's something you truly love, uh, it will come back to you again, no matter what. Bye Chishan. Mm. Thanks for giving us your time of the day. Bye. Good night. So after filming the day in the live video with Chishan, I realized that I'm quite lucky in the sense that I'm still able to work from home uh, in this COVID period. I'm also inspired by Chishan's uh, tenacity and perseverance to work towards his passion, which is singing and songwriting. So I think for many of us, especially now that we are in our 20s, we might think that there's nothing more to life except for work, you know, given that we have been working for a few years now. So I just want to tell you that this is not true. Um, there are still many other passions that we can explore outside of work. And I don't think that we should be afraid of failure and whatsoever. We should just be free to pursue it and yeah, just see how it goes. So thank you guys for watching my videos and please help by liking and subscribing the video.